Tom here from Lawrence Systems, and if there's one thing we can probably all agree upon, it's that DNS doesn't need lawyers, but here we are, me making a video about this. Quad9 is being sued by Sony. Sony has a problem, and they've decided to take it out on the nonprofit DNS company that's very privacy oriented, which I've done several videos about, link down below, Quad9. Now, I believe they went after Quad9 because, well, a smaller nonprofit for public good companies such as Quad9 is probably an easier target and less well armed in terms of lawyers to defend against a lawsuit like this. So Cloudflare and Google are easy examples of companies that provide public DNS, but I bet their legal team is just a little bit bigger than the one over at Quad9. Now, Sony and the reason they're bringing this case, and this is all happening specifically in Germany, and I've mentioned it before about 11 months ago, and this is kind of an update where they have filed in August of 2020 another injunction, and the case still hasn't, well, come to a head. Now, I'm really hoping Quad9 wins, but just in case they don't, this is a reason you should be donating to Quad9 to help fund the legal fund that is the defense against Sony, because this is going to set some really scary precedents. Essentially, Sony is alleging that, well, websites that may infringe upon their copyright shouldn't be resolving in DNS resolvers. That's a really weird reach around. If you have a problem with a copyright problem, you should go to the source. There's other mechanisms to deal with this. But filtering DNS based on the claims of Sony doesn't seem like the precedence we want to set. And obviously what happens in the way most case law works is a small case may be one, and that is the precedence at which they keep going to larger courts. Once they have enough momentum and precedence is set, they will then go after the larger companies. And well, other companies will probably follow suit going, hey, this is a clever way for us to take down things we don't like. And obviously Quad9 is fighting hard against this, but hey, I'll leave a link to the blog post and everything else. I'm just here to one, raise awareness about it, and two, mention that you can donate if you have the money. Don't do it if you're broke. But if you have a few extra dollars, you could donate to the folks over at Quad9 because they are a truly nonprofit organization and you would like to help out and put that towards legal funds. Hey, that's another way me as a citizen of the internet, I can offer help. So I have donated money to them. If you have a few spare dollars, you can donate to them to help fight Sony. That would be great. Also, just raising awareness so more people can be angry and enraged like I am about this and keep an eye for things like this because there are places out there that want to defend the way the internet works and keep these things from, well, giving us a worse internet overall if any of these cases go through. This is just a new angle on the whole old copyright fight. That's what I see going on here. And maybe some of you want to dig into this as well. Nonetheless, that's my thoughts on it. Leave your comments down below. Head over to Quad9. There's a link down there right to their donation page if you have a few spare dollars to go ahead and donate to them. And other organizations that I'll give a worthy mention to is going to be the Electronic Frontier Foundation, who also has interest in these type of rulings that break the internet and are just the wrong way to go about things. So screw you, Sony. And hey, I look forward to reading the comments. Thanks.